okay, there are many different ways of defining shape grammars. So let's try one. So a shape grammar is a device, is a mechanism that allow you to generate different kinds of designs based on a small set of rules. So that empowers the designer or the architect because with a few rules you can generate many different possibilities and have a way of controlling the outcome. And if you think of mass customization as giving everyone their own customized product, the only way, the only practical way to do that is to think of some kind of recipe. And shape grammar is a visual means of doing that. It's a kind of visual way of writing recipes for creating designs. So we learned in the first exercise, there's two parts. We learned about this. It's very interesting. So it's nothing fancy. Just relax and enjoy. With this one, if you put it again, you get that. You can think of it as a way to capture a process of generating something with a physical form um, that is captured graphically. Um, you have a series of steps, um, and you apply those steps, and then you get your final design. And so what we want is for people who participate in the workshop to understand the basics of shape grammars. We are asking them to generate a small shape grammar and so that they understand the mechanics, how it works, how it can be created, how it can be used. The other thing that we're going to do is um, today we're doing everything by hand, but tomorrow we are going to, it's going to be a new version of this workshop that Jose has given many times. We'll be using software that I've written and we are going to ask them to use the laser cutter, the 2D paper cutter and the sewing machine to make physical versions of their designs. So the emphasis is on how to design a design system, not just one object. Tell, tell me what you're trying to do and what you're doing right now. Yes, we choose a backpack no. to a control platform. You know, the backside, a different design. We are making a bookshelf, like a desktop bookshelf. But she's a foundation concept, origami. Kind of. We discovered the origami pattern. Uh, they, are, they specify the typology of objects, each group, is, and they are now uh, developing the, the, the rules for, for, for the shape grammar. People from different backgrounds are participating in the workshop and we hope that they can, from this preliminary exercise, can, can, can then evolve to, to, to applications in their, in their fields of expertise. Take a grammar, here's a grammar with one initial shape and two rules. You open Rhino, which should be on your desktop. This is a very quick way of experimenting with that. And I think it was very nice the way it worked because we were able to accomplish what I was expecting at each stage. And at the end I was very pleased with the diversity and the depth of the results given the short time. Some really surprising projects like the origami one which I think uh, was very interesting because it linked the whole idea to Japanese culture but at the same time was using shape grammars in a very unusual way.